Hello friends, welcome back to Mudstack. In today's session, we're going to discuss a very interesting topic, the integration between Snowflake, AWS S3, and NewSoft. To achieve this use case, I came up with the problem statement. Okay, how we can or what is the best approach or you know way of loading millions of records to the Snowflake table, okay, within seconds. So that's the requirement. Okay. So for this requirement, we go with the traditional approach. Okay, of you know inserting or you know uh, bulk insert SQL commands definitely is not going to work. Okay, so instead of doing that, we can leverage the copy into command to quickly load the millions of records into the uh, you know Snowflake database within seconds. Okay, so how to do that? Before that, we will we'll just discuss about the Snowflake. What it is? Okay, uh, what exactly you know enterprises are using Snowflake for? What reason and uh, how they are storing the data? So Snowflake is a SaaS application, and it's it's uh, it provides a data warehouse that is faster and easy to use if you compare with the uh, you know traditional data warehouses. Okay, and if you see the current trend, right now enterprises are you know moving their data into Snowflake, and they are looking for you know uh, someone who can connect, integrate large volumes of data from their system quickly and efficiently. Okay, so. Uh, that's the that's the use case we are going to you know, implement now. So let's go step by step. So we'll start with first Snowflake. We create account with a Snowflake. Then let me show you the CSV file. What content I have there? Okay. So for now, I just picked up the thousand records, and we'll we'll see uh, uh, you know we'll see S3 bucket where we'll upload this, and from the S3 bucket we'll create stage. So I like you know I'll give you the step by step approach how we can do that. Okay. So first step. Let's go ahead. Okay, so we'll start with the Snowflake. So we'll first go to the snowflake.com and we'll start creating the database and table. Let me go to the snowflake.com first. So from here, you can create 30 great tiles. We can see the uh, start of the. We can go ahead and create you know, $400 for. Usage account. This will be available for 30 days. I have already created it in the past year details over here. And if I have already created it, let me log into my account. So once you log into your account, you can find worksheet. Okay. And then left hand side, you can see the data. Go to database over here and create simple uh, database. Okay. So I have created simple database called Moveshop. Right now, there is nothing. Okay. So we are going to create a table now. So there are two ways of creating tables. I think we can go here and say create table standard. Okay. And I have already query here. So I'll just copy this query. This okay. So before that, let me show you my CSV file. Okay, which we are going to load into a snowflake table. So this is my CSV uh, file file. I have around thousand records here. For testing point wise, this would be thousand records. Now these many columns are there. So here CSV file columns and your database columns, those have to be same. So let's go ahead. So these are the columns I'm going to create. So let me show you the query, SQL query. So this is my SQL query, where all the columns are there. So I'm going to create under the database, under the schema, and create a cells table. Okay, so let's go ahead. See. Here. So here so we can. Just when we, we are already under new sort public, right? You can directly simply say new cells. That is enough. Okay. Or this is one way of creating it. We can directly go, so we can cancel here. We can directly go to worksheet here and say plus worksheet here, and we can pass that complete command. There are two ways. Okay, if I run this, okay, you can see that table cells successfully created. So now let's go back to our home data. And if I, if I go to my database here, the public schema, the table, this is the table. And you can, you can find the all columns over here. Okay. So right now there is no data over here. Okay. Okay. So table is created now. From here, we need to note down few things. So you copy this URL. Okay. Go to your notepad, paste that URL over here. So I paste the URL. You need to note down two things. Okay. So note down your region, note down your ID. Okay, so these two things we need to note down, and then then we'll be configuring a database driver. That time we need to see that. Okay, so we'll, we'll talk about that. Now, 
let's go to our let me go to my aws account now okay so in aws you can go to the aws s3 console so here you can go to services section and you can do s3 console here here we create a bucket okay s3 bucket let me create so this is that bucket i have created nothing is there right now the bucket so we have created s3 bucket over here and we have created table in snowflake now first we'll upload that sales the csv file over here so let me upload that first which has millions of it so right now i want to download the file over here so step number two so from here you need to note down this location also so i have also copied this go ahead and paste it in your your notes so after this so i have copied the url from snowflake also and i have copied the bucket location from the s3 uh, bucket console okay the two things now let's go ahead and now we will we'll try to implement simple new application so let's create the new application over here so i will say Let's start with the internet function first here. Okay, so first we'll bring the listener, which is our default stuff. We we'll configure what your default is coming over here. Okay, and I will say Is configured now. Now, interesting thing is we need to add a module, database module here. And from the database module, we bring the execute DDL. Okay. So first we need to create a stage. So what what do you mean by stage? So So we create stage here from the S3 bucket. So let me show you what is this thread. Uh, so I have URL. Yes. So how to create a stage? Let me first show you what exactly this means. Okay. So. Okay. So stage is nothing but the name internal or external stage to use for loading data. From files into Snowflake tables and unloading data from tables into files. It can be internal stage or it can be external. So we are going to create external stage. And currently, these are the cloud providers or services are supporting Amazon S3 bucket, cloud storage buckets, and Azure containers. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and create. So you can write this kind of uh, uh, stage. Queries over there to create it. So I have already created the query. So you need to, so we have copied, if you remember, we have copied S3 bucket location. Okay. And one more thing we need to copy from your, your we can go and uh, get your security credentials. Okay. So from here, you need to copy your, you know, uh, access key and secret. Okay. Once you copy it, Come back to this query. So here you need to pass your bucket bucket URL, which is your bucket already. F3, this one. And then add AWS PID and AWS pass here. You just paste this into your anyway, this secret key and access key I don't need it. So you need to note it down that fine. Okay, we are going to create this. So we are going to create external S3 stage in URL. This credentials are this. Okay. For first, we need to configure the connector. So let's go ahead and configure the connector first. 
So now here, we will go ahead and select the generic connection and we'll get the JPC driver. So we'll go ahead and add Maven normal. So let me copy the dependencies. So hold on, I'll get the dependencies. Dependency for our smoke link. We are going to connect smoke link. I anyway I'll do this dependency system below. So we'll go ahead and set up this. Press this and set niche. Okay. Now our JDBC driver is you know configured properly. Now we need this UI and then driver class. Okay. So when we were there in the Snowflake, right? We I asked you to copy this URL. So from this URL, we will be taking ID plus our region, okay, and then Snowflake computing.com. This is the fix. Then our TV is new shop and our schema was copied. Okay, so this URL we need to check and configure inside the URL section here. Okay, and the driver. You can go ahead and search for driver. It is no flex driver. And this one. Okay. So uh, copy the same thing. Yes. Now the credentials of the no flex account. That is my credentials. Perfect. The connection is fine. Save it. So, so we have created the stage now. So I say this is external things we have created to load the files from S3 bucket to the Snowflake page. Okay. So this is clear. The first thing is clear. Now we need to drag execute video again to set the file format now. So we say here file format and set the file format. Now configuration is saved. We are executed. Now for this also I have a query. So now I'm creating a file format where I'm saying my CSV format type is CSV and it's a comma separate value. Right? Whatever delimiter you're using in, C, in, in your CSV, you can pass that. You can pass this, you can pass comma, whatever. Okay. So I'm just using this query right here. Okay. So we have created file format. Now we are going to use copy into. So now it's stage is ready. Our pipe permit is ready. Now we load that data to our snowflake. So our configuration is automatically coming. Now, where are we loading? Copy into command, copy into sales table. Okay, copy into sales table. Okay, from where? From S3 external stage. Okay, format, this format. And what is the pattern? File name is dot csv. And on your is file. Okay, so this is these things are important. From where you're reading, what is the file format and what is the file name? Okay, now everything is perfectly fine. Okay, and finally, this activity will return you how many records you have loaded. So finally, we'll have you know let's just uh reload. Okay, so this start this. What I'm doing is I'm saying the cards here. Or of this, instead of this, we drag on from that. So this is this one here. Okay. 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 And 
So this one is the mean transfer of the Okay, so let's run this now. Save it. Run this project. Sorry, take a pause over here. So it takes some time. So you can see that now if you get a GPR surface field. So what is my input part here? I just take the input part and go to my we are running on e one e one Let's run this. And you can see that triple nine record was loaded. Let's check our table. It's table. So now it's a refresh. We go here. We have to now see. You can see how much time it took. Hardly less than six seconds to load thousand records. Okay, so let me recap what we have done. So we have loaded the CSV file or uh, AWS S3 bucket, and then from there we have to repeat external stage, which is nothing but the provision to you know load the files to the Snowflake table and download file you know data from the Snowflake as a uh, files. Okay, then I have given the file format. And then instead of traditional insert and update, we have used copy into you know uh, command, which loads the data from your files to the uh, Snowflake within the insect. And finally, we are uh, printing the number of records for Okay, so that's all from this session. Hope you find this useful. And uh, you know, I'll come up with a few more interesting use cases like this. Okay, so hit the like button, share with your friends, subscribe the channel. And hit the bell icon so that you get you know notification to me. So see you in the you know coming sessions with a different use case, different use case. Thank you.